What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. And in the last videos, we set up some autoresponders and we talked about Git response. And I mentioned numerous times the importance of setting up your own private email. Because otherwise, if, if you have a free email like Yahoo or Gmail, your, your autoresponders may end up in spam. So we don't want that. We need people to open our emails, okay? So it's a very simple process. It's very simple to do, but it's very important, very crucial, okay? So I just wanted to um, set it up on GoDaddy or uh, Namecheap <laughs> and then integrate it with GetResponse so that you guys have it available, okay? So when you go to your um, Namecheap account, we need to go to Dashboard. And this is assuming that, that you guys have already bought your domain as we've done in this uh, video right here, right? But as, assuming yours is marketingsuccess.site, uh, okay? So we're going to need to click on Manage. And the really cool thing about this is you actually get two months free of this email. So maybe if you decide later on you don't want to do this offer anymore that you're selling, you can you can cancel out, okay? So so you don't have to pay for the full year. Um, so after that, down here, here it says private email, and you need to click buy now, all right? Uh, so here at the bottom left, um, I mean, you can have all of these. You can pick any one of these, and they'll give you two months free trial. Um, you probably won't need that much storage. I mean, the main difference between these is, you know, they have extra aliases you can use, uh, extra storage. I, I would just pick the basic one and then go from there, upgrade from there when the time comes, if you decide you want to pursue it. So just click two month trial, click add to cart, and then just follow the steps. Um, so in this case, you would have to say use a domain I own because you would want to set up your email based on that domain that you've set up that's related to your product, right? So you can just click on that so you don't have to purchase another one. Click whichever um, domain you want to use. So in this case, it's marketing site, for example. <clears throat> and then you would have to pick a, a name in front of this domain. So it's going to say blank. Oh, sorry, continue. So it's going to say blank at and then your domain.com. Okay. So for example, here, so this one is free. The other ones do actually cost you 33 cents a month. So no big deal. But if you want to put like your name here at marketing uh, success.site, it would cost you 33 cents per month. Not a big deal, but the, the really free one is just admin, which still is still pretty good, right? And, and, and it's private. It's a private email, so it's not going to go to spam. So that's awesome. So once you do that, just add it to cart. Uh, that's fine. You have it all available. Um, don't add this. So just leave it at select option for this one. So you're not charged. And it says here subtotal is zero bucks. Okay. Awesome. So after you do that, after you actually buy that private email, you should gain access to it um, just by clicking here. So if you go to dashboard, you can click this little button here and then click log into webmail. Okay. Or you may have to click manage first to change your password and then click log into webmail. All right. Um, so that's how you would be able to do it. And then once you set that up, uh, we need to input that email into your get response. So the way you would do that is you would go to my account, you would go to account details at the top, and then you would go to from email addresses. So then here you need to add your new email address. You need to verify it. You need to put your name so you can actually put whatever name you want here, whatever it is, anything. Uh, and then email address you add, you verify, you go back on that email to verify, and then you will have the option to use that email when you're sending autoresponders. So for example, in this one, in the email we've already set up in one of our previous videos, um, if, you, if, if I click edit message, it will show up here. So you'll, you will see your new email from which you can send it out to, which like we said, it, it, it looks better, it looks related to the topic, and it actually probably won't go to spam. It's going to go to the people's real folder, okay? Real inbox. So that's about it. Really short video, very simple to do. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. Uh, stay tuned for next videos where we explore get response a little bit deeper. Um, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next videos.